Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I want to talk about something that um, has been bugging me. It's probably been bugging other people and that, especially if you live in this part of the world where you're really far away from the equator and it, the days are short and um, it's cold outside. You don't want to do anything and it's you've got cabin fever. Do you have cabin fever? I have had cabin fever big time and it makes you not want to do anything. And you know, you think about making art, you want to go make some art, or you want to craft, you want to do something, but just getting up that motivation is so difficult. Um, my workshop's in my basement. My basement's around 57 degrees this time of year. I don't want to hang out in my cold basement and craft. I'm not getting the, those, you know, comfy, cozy, warm feels that I like to get when I'm crafting. So what do you do? What do you do when, when it's cold and you want to make cool stuff? Well, I've got some tips for you today and I would love to hear your tips in the comments below. So make sure you let me know how you get inspired in the winter to craft. If you have some tips or tricks, I would love to hear them. So one uh, tip for me is to actually lay out my supplies the night before. So if I know I'm going to have some time the next day um, and I want to be really productive, I will go and grab all my supplies and put them in a basket and set them on my table. Or I'll even like lay out my pallets, make sure I have fresh water, make sure I have everything ready to go. So all I have to do is come and sit down. I could find my reference images if I'm working from a photo. I could um, set up a still life. Just do something so I make it frictionless. You know, that's what stores do online. That's what like Amazon does. That's what Disney World does. These outfits make things frictionless for you to shop. Well, we can make it frictionless in our homes to create. So like when you're on Amazon, right, it's easy to go and buy that new book or buy that new watercolor palette or whatever it is because you can buy it in one click. Well, you want to make your craft, you want to be able to craft in one click basically. So laying out your stuff, you might know, you might say, well, I've got 10 minutes right now. I'm just going to run into my craft room. I'm just going to like run over to my desk, wherever it is that you create. Um, maybe you create in the kitchen table and um, you've just picked up the last meal that is going to be served before before you have some time to create. After you go, like, I, I got five minutes, I'm just going to set out my supplies right now. By doing that, before you're actually ready to create, I find that, that is really motivating uh, because then all you have to do is just sit down and begin. You've made it frictionless. You've taken away the, oh, well, I got to go get water and then I've got to put a newspaper down on my table and then I got to do this and that and the other. If you get rid of that friction, you'll be way more likely to create. Another thing that I find helps me to create is, it's it's along the lines of making it more convenient, is I will have a little travel pack of supplies for my living room, for instance, because I love to sit in the living room, especially if the fire is going and there's a nice movie on TV. I just want to, I just want to hibernate, you know, I just want to be under a pile of blankets in the living room and color or something like that. So if I stamp out a bunch of things, I can sit in the living room and I can color. I can have a little bag of markers. Um, I just got to, you know, this little bag of a hoo hoo markers is a great selection. I can stamp a bunch of my things, stick them in the bag, and then um, tuck it behind the couch. And if I've got like half an hour I'm watching a show or a movie or something, I can pull that out and I can work on it. In fact, when I was making my robot cards the other day, I didn't have time to color them all when I was doing my main filming. So I stamped everything, stuck it in my little bag and left it in the living room. So the next time I was sitting down on the couch, feeling lazy, wishing I was creating, I could just open the bag and create. So you could do that with a sketchbook or a small watercolor set and a water brush and a watercolor sketchbook, anything like that that can make it easy. Another thing that I do is um, I enjoy knitting and crocheting from time to time. So I have a shoe, like I'm just a plastic shoe box. It's nothing fancy. I've got my current project, my, um, I just need a crochet hook in the pattern for currently what I'm working on. And that is right there in a shoebox that I can put the lid on so it stays dust free and I tuck it underneath my chair where I usually sit uh, in the living room and I can just pull that out and I can work on it for a few minutes when I have the time and everything is right there that I need. I don't have to run around the house. I don't have to come down here and go through my yarn and find what I need because everything's right there. So making yourself little craft kits is a great way to um, uh, to achieve this. When I did a lot of oil painting, having a painting in progress on my easel was the most motivating thing because sometimes I would do a painting that I would work on over weeks. I don't nowadays, that was before kids, <laughs> obviously, but I would have that painting up there and then um, I would just kind of, I would look forward every day to when this is a time I had a studio downtown and I would look forward to coming into my studio um, like an hour before my classes started and I would paint on that painting for a while. And, um, you know, because everything was set up and ready to go, it was frictionless. So try to get get rid of those sticking points that are between you and creating and um, 
make it a smoother sail to your craftiness. Smoother, like, you know, you're gonna get in your boat and you're gonna sail with the current. You wanna be going with the flow of the crafty ideas, I guess. Um, so those are some tips that have helped me. Uh, cause somebody, cause you don't feel good when you're just kind of, you know, being lazy, wishing that you could create, but not feeling quite motivated enough to do anything. Just doing a little prep beforehand when you have a little burst of energy. Like, well, I come down, I came downstairs the other night to get on the treadmill and then I'm like, oh, before I go upstairs, I'm gonna lay out my project for tomorrow. That way there'll be no excuse. Well, I'll know that I could just jump right in and start creating. So whatever it is for you, if you're, if you have a card table in the corner of your office, if you have, you know, maybe all you have to work is a lap desk on your bed, whatever it is, if you can have those supplies handy and ready to go with as few steps possible between you and creating, that is going to help you beat cabin fever, beat a creative slump and artist block and get you creating in no time. I want to hear your... What was that? <laughs> oh, I could choke it on my own spit there for a minute. <laughs> I want to hear your tips. Let me know in the comments below and we can keep each other accountable and super duper creative. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.